Hello and welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. I'm Danny Rocks and in today's lesson I'm going to show you how to use comments to annotate your work in Excel. You can also include images inside your comments. For example, an image of a catalog item that you sell or an image of a person who is on your project team. All right, let's come over here and take a look at this worksheet. Notice these little red diamonds in the upper right corner of selected cells. Those are comments. And comments can come in all kinds of shapes, all kinds of colors. We can do really wonderful things with a comment. So let's just say I wanted to be able to color code a comment. Very simple. All I would do in this case is right mouse click on the cell, not on the comment. That's important. So you don't right mouse click on the comment, right mouse click on the cell that can contains the comment. And what I want to do is first select edit the comment and now on the hash marks around the comment, not inside on the text, select there and now right mouse click. What I want to do is I want to format the comment. What I can do is come over here to colors and lines and over here in fill I can choose a different color. So that's a great way that we can add some variety to uh, our comments. We can also show selected comments. So over here is a cell where I have a comment. If I would like to have that on view as I'm working, right mouse click, come down here and show hide the comment. And I can move it and I can also change the size of it. I could also change the font inside for any one element. So click inside, highlight, and if I wanted to make that bold I could do that or I could use some other uh, attributes by right mouse clicking and formatting the text inside the comment. When I want to hide it, just come back here, it's a toggle. Right mouse click and in this case hide the comment. Notice I also have delete and edit the comment over there. All right, now a question that I'm asked frequently is how do I print the comments for this worksheet? Well, first they must be on display. If you want to display all of your comments, come over here to the review tab of the ribbon and in the comments group, click show all the comments. Now you might want to move some of the comments outside so that they don't actually block your work over there. And if you have an extra comment or two, don't worry about it. You can always delete it. So you can delete an individual comment. Just come over here and just say delete the comment. Now here's how we print them. They're on display. Now go over here onto the page layout tab of the ribbon in Excel 2007. In page setup, look at this little right facing arrow down here in the right corner. It's the page setup dialog launcher click that launcher. Now go over onto the sheet tab and on the sheet tab look over here to the right. By default the comments do not print so this is the default setting. You have two choices to print them as displayed on the sheet and I frequently do this when I'm sending work to a client. I, I'm working on a project for them and I have comments in there and I want to send them the comments along with the worksheet. But in this case what we're going to do is we're going to have them print at the end of the sheet at the end of our workbook. So click OK and now let's go into print preview. So down in, over here in print I want to go into print preview and now remember they're going to be be at the end. So I want to go to the next page and there are the comments. So that's a way that we can have our comments print. Now another way to quickly erase your comments is to select all of the cells. Select the range that will contain your comments. And on the home tab of the ribbon, come over here into the editing group. You see the clear, look at this drop down. What we want to do is choose to clear the comments. Now that's such a, for me, that's such an important command that what I did is I right mouse clicked on it and said add it to the quick access toolbar. Also, instead of remembering that the comment commands are over here on the review tab of the ribbon, I right mouse clicked on the group and I added it over here on to my quick access toolbar. All right, now let's take a look at some other ways that we can annotate our work. I'm going to take a look over here at this worksheet and what I want to do over here is I'm going to use data validation with a note. So down here for this grouping right here, I'll select it, go to the data tab on the ribbon, come over here into data validation and I'm going to come down here on the input message and I'll put in here
and click OK. So now the beauty here is that when I come down into a cell that I want to have that information, you see I'm not cluttering up the sheet with those red diamonds. And for some reason or another, some people get upset about them. So data validation with your input message is another way that you can annotate your worksheet. All right, now let me show you how we can include pictures inside our comments. Another way that we can insert a comment is with a keyboard shortcut. Shift F2, Shift Function 2. Now in this case what I want to do is I want to get rid of this element. I want to get rid of this. I'm going to come down here and I'm first going to say edit the comment. What I want to do is I want to make sure that I right mouse click on these hash marks on the, ex on the exterior, on the outside. So when I right mouse click I want to come down here and format the comment. Now this brings up a dialog box with several tabs. What I want to do is I want to select the colors and lines. Remember how we changed the color of the font in the background? Well, well I want to come down here and I want to go to fill effects which brings up some other tabs. Now come over here to the picture and what I want to do is I want to select the picture. So I'm doing this for a catalog. I'll select my item. I like to put in here lock the picture aspect ratio. And now let's click OK. Let's click OK. Now we'll do a little bit of resizing. And there you go. All right, now rather than going through all of those steps for the other items in the catalog, here's what I'm going to do. The cell that contains the comment, I want to copy it. I'm going to select the other cells that I want to put pictures into it. I'll right mouse click and say paste special. What do I want to paste? I want to paste the comments click OK. So now you can see that each of them has that same picture in there. Now it's a simple matter to just right mouse click, edit the comment, and right mouse click on the exterior, format the comment, and then come in and we want to change the picture. Pictures are in fill effects on the picture tab, select the picture, and I believe the second one was PowerPoint. I'll just come down here and find that, and I can click OK, click OK. And of course they're not showing. Uh, I want to make sure that I'm not showing them, so I'm going to the Review tab, take them off. If there is a comment that I don't have a picture for, all I can do is select it. And remember I added this to my Quick Access Toolbar. I want to clear the comments. And I want to do the same thing down here. In this case I'm going to use the F4 keyboard shortcut to repeat my last action. So there as I hover over I have my uh, my images there. So I, I really recommend that you get comfortable adding your comments. For me when I'm learning a new keyboard shortcut, when I'm learning a new procedure, I add those little post-it notes where I need them the most. Not stuck to my head, not cluttered on my desk, but annotate it right there in the worksheet that I'm working on. And I'll see you in the next lesson.